Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. We're going to start out this recipe with some garlic. Chop it up real fine. Now in a bowl we'll pull some olive oil and we'll add our garlic. A little bit of uh, salt. And we'll stir that together real well. A little more olive oil. Now once that's stirred in, you want to taste it. Make sure it's not too salty. Next thing you want to do is cut your tomatoes about this thick here. And we're going to marinate those in this olive oil, garlic, and salt mixture. That's what's really going to give this margarita pizza its flavor. Once you stir them in real good, just let them sit for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now, fresh basil. Do not use dried dehydrated basil. Fresh basil only. And here's our pizza dough and our marinated tomatoes. What we're going to do is press off the tomatoes and just drizzle all of the marinated garlic oil over the top of the pizza here because that's going to be our sauce. That's going to create such a flavor you just won't believe it. Incredible. Just smooth it in with the back of your spoon, the same you would any pizza. Now, we're going to take some provolone cheese. I'm going to throw that down here. We're going to top that with some mozzarella. I'm real picky with it, so I want it perfect. Pizza's an art, you know. Now our fresh basil. My hands are wet, so it's kind of sticking to my fingers, but just spread it out evenly, just like you would the cheese. Now, our tomatoes. And I just spread them out like pepperoni. And once again, we'll take this olive oil garlic mixture right over the top. There's too much flavor in it not to do that. And there's garlic in the bottom here that needs to drop over the top, so that'll help the flavor tremendously. So don't let that waste. And then last but not least, we'll just go ahead and top it off with just a little bit more mozzarella for it to just melt in and fuse all those flavors together. And off to the oven. I'm going to throw it on the bottom rack there. 550 for about six minutes. And now she comes, still sizzling. Get a good look. Perfect. It's exactly the way you want it, right here. And see the tomatoes, the basil, the cheese, everything it looks perfect. I'll just throw it on a cutting board here after it's cooled. And give it a slice and a dice. Now, if you get a good look at it here, you can 
can see the bottom is the way you want it. Crispy on the bottom. Perfect. And there's your margarita pizza right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.